All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to another EA Sports FC 24 video. I know, I know, I've been so inconsistent with these. I apologize. I've just got a lot of stuff going on right now. Uh, but we are back in business here. Um, we just lost to Palace in the shootout and had a couple of losses in the Premier League. So last video was a tough one to take, but hopefully we'll be able to bounce back here and hopefully um, get a few wins in a row. Um, I think they've done a big update for the game. I don't know how it's changed the difficulty levels. I don't know how it's changed like my sliders or anything. We'll see. Uh, James Tarkovsky, you're still in contention, lad. Relax, all right? You're still going to get your, your game. You're not going to be starting every game now, but... You know, you're, you'll still get a game here and there. West Ham are up next. Uh, they are sitting in 16th in the league. We're sitting in ninth. So we really need to get a move on here if we want to be able to uh, compete for the European positions that this year. And that is the goal. In real life, um, also, Nottingham Forest have got a points deduction of four points. Make it make sense. Make it make sense to me that Nottingham Forest get four points. And we got ten initially. Down to six. And Forrest's overspend was almost double ours. Like, that is actually official information. Forrest's overspend was nearly double what our, our overspend was uh, on, the, on the FFP side of things. But somehow they get a less, less of a points deduction than we do. Like, I just don't understand what the... I, I don't think they have a clue what they're doing, the Premier League. I genuinely don't think they have a clue. But anyway, at least we know what we're doing as a manager here. And we are going to look... To make a really big comeback here. Alright, come on. Let's go. James Garner suspended. So we can just throw Archie Gray in there. And I'll throw uh, Dobbin. Not instead of Duranville. Duranville's going to be starting. And we'll go with this team here. I think Pickford, Patterson, Elvedi, Brantway, Tierney, McTominay, Onana, Sudakov, Calvert-Lewin's wrecked. So I'm going to give Evan Ferguson a start. Willie G is wrecked as well. But pretty much all of my wingers are. So I don't really have an option uh, on that side of things right now. Um, we'll go with this team here, all right? Pickford, Elvedi, Patterson, yada, yada, yada. Okay, I'm looking at, I'm looking at this team. I think I think this looks good. Ganonto's tired, but we can bring on Dobbin for Ganonto at some point. We can mix it up a little bit. Maybe even Archie Gray if we go to a 4-2-2-2 or something like that. We'll see what happens. But anyway, I'm looking forward to this match. Let's see if the if the difficult re uh, difficulty really has changed. I think they made a lot of tweaks to legendary difficulty, but we're on world class with the sliders that we're on, One so I don't think it should affect attention. us too much at least. Kieran Tierney, the main man, absolute Will legend. Haven't played with him now in a long time. I think he's uh, he's absolutely ripping it up at Real Sociedad. So you know, I need to uh, I need to wait till the season's over to get a to get a round in with Kieran Tierney maybe. But here's Garner, get on to back to Tierney now. Here he is, the main man. And let's see if we can make a make something happen here. Oh, okay. Jared Bowen's one I'd like to sign in uh, in this career mode, but um, I think we just have enough wingers right now, and we have younger wingers who we need to kind of bring on a bit. I signed Elise instead. I could have gone for Bowen or someone like that, but I think Elise's younger. Good save, Pickford. Good save, Pickers, lads. Well done. Oh, beautiful header away from there. Uh, oh, that was nice from Willie G, and he's one on one now. Oh my God, what a turn from Willie Ganonto. Look at the pace off Alvarez, though. Willie G goes for it. Saved by Fabianski. But that was a, a mega turn and a great run from Willie Ganonto. Scott McTominay is going to look to leather one. Uh, he scored the winner. Or he didn't score the winner. He scored the first goal in the... Um, oh, no, no. In the absolute classic game. Uh, United against Liverpool. That was 4-3 in the end. Went to extra time and United won it at the death with Diallo. That was absolutely insane, by the way. That whole game was crazy. I watched it and uh, I think I missed the McTominay goal, but I saw every goal after that, which is unfortunate. I missed my boy's score, but it's pretty crazy here. McTominay and, and Tierney, you know, both in my career mode team, both over 80, you know, both top quality players playing at a really high level and they have watched my videos and played with me and been a part of my videos in the past and two absolutely just sound men as well like you wouldn't actually um you wouldn't think they were premier league footballers or anything by talking to them they're just top men you know they're just uh they have a laugh they're good crack and it's with mctominay and they're awesome awesome human beings so shout out to them uh i haven't talked to either one of them in a, in a while now but I still, uh, I still root for them. Every time I'm watching them, I still, I still root for them, and I think they're absolute legends. Here's Duranville. Ooh, Duranville nearly gets it across. Don't let Maxi outscore. He always scores against us. For Christ's sake! Oh, good save, Pickers. Good save, Pickers. Let's go. 
to get that nearly scores, but Pickford keeps us in it once more, baby. Let's go. Going for the short one. Well on, Duranville. Well on. Nicely, timed tackle. Nicely done from Urien Duranville. No! Good save, Pick Pickers again. And Ganonto clears, but not too far away, unfortunately. And here's Jared Bowen. Bowen goes for it. It comes to Martial. Oh, he places it over. Thank God. Thank God. West Ham are starting to take over a little bit now as well. West Ham have had the better of the chances, and they're starting to really take over here. And this is uh, becoming a little bit of a scary sight. Tierney finds McTominay. Back to Onana. Onana finds Ganonto. Ganonto back to Tierney. I don't know what the hell Tierney was doing there, but he somehow still has the ball. All right, we'll take that. McTominay goes for it! Not enough power in the shot, and Trapp saves it. McTominay's been scoring for fun for United this season, but he hasn't been scoring many for me. So, Scott, if you could uh, chip in with a few goals here, that would be awesome. Patterson finds McTominay. McTominay finds Sudakov. That's brilliant. Brilliant play. Duranville back to Sudakov. Sudakov does his man in. Finds Onana. There's just nowhere to go. There's West Ham players everywhere. They're all around the box. This is mental. But he finds Duranville. Duranville shoots. Blocked down Onana. Looking to get into the box. Finds Willy Ganonto. Willy Ganonto to Onana. Oh, come on, man. They're just everywhere. There's West Ham players everywhere inside that box. They're defending in numbers. That's Davy Moyes for you, man. Davy, Davy Moyes. Defensively resilient at all times. And there you go. It's nil-nil at half time. I'd say we definitely started to get into the half a little bit more towards the end. Um, but Pickford made a couple of great saves to keep us in it as well. So let's see what we got here second half. Good uh, good tackle from Onana. We're picking up where we left off right now. Willy Ganonto does his man in. That's absolutely brilliant. But it's a brilliant tackle there. Who was that? Jared Bowen with an absolutely phenomenal tackle. Duranville does well to find Nathan Patterson. Patterson on the run here. Patterson finds Duranville. Absolutely awful first touch. But he somehow wins it back, Duranville. And he can't score. Come on, Duranville. You have to do better. You have to do better, lad. Oh, fuck off. Who's injured, Alvedi? I think Alvedi's injured here, boys. I'm going to bring on Tarkovsky. He was asking for some game time anyway, so... Let's get Tark on. Let's also get, um... Dobbin on, because... He's wrecked, man. Ganonto's wrecked. Dobbin and Tark on in the 60th minute here. Let's see if uh, the substitutes can make a difference. Tarkovsky, we know he's a danger from set pieces. But Dobbin's been fairly dangerous down these wings as well when he's played. So let's see if he can uh, if he can make the difference. And he's on the ball immediately. He's on the ball immediately here. Lewis Dobbin finds Evan Ferguson. No! Oh! Almost makes an immediate impact with an assist there. But it's a good save from Fabianski. Pickford made a couple of good ones in the first half, and Fabianski makes a good one there. Sudakov cleared off the line. Dobbin back out to Scott McTominay to Tarkovsky. Jurian Duranville shoots, but there's West Ham players everywhere. There's nowhere to go there. Don't do this. Good tackle, Branthwaite, lad. Why did I pass it right to him? Oh, what a save! What a save from Jordan Pickford. Unbelievable. And here's Jurian Duranville. Duranville, go on, let's counter and score. Come on, lads. Yes, yes. Where the fuck did Evan Ferguson go? I don't care. I'm going to do it all myself. Oh, ref, penalty. Penalty, ref. What? He finds Ferguson. He finds Dobbin. Dobbin does his man. Beautiful from Lewis Dobbin. Dobbin finds Ferguson. Ferguson cuts inside Evan Ferguson. Evan Ferguson, yes! Come on! Let's go! Evan Ferguson scores in the 82nd minute of the game. Lewis Dobbin gets the assist. And the, the attack was actually started by McTominay in that center attacking mid role as well. So, brilliant play. Ferguson turns his man brilliantly there. McTominay was there waiting and so was Duranville. But Evan Ferguson doesn't need them. He does a front flip over Fabianski, but not before. He tucks it away into the corner. And Evan Ferguson gets his goal. Up the Irish. Come on, lad. Get in there, Evan. Get in there. Come on. Yes. The Irish aren't here to take part. We're here to take over. 
Evan Ferguson wants that starting spot for his own. And goals like that in situations like this will help, no doubt. Everton now need to survive. Archie Gray with a brilliant tackle. Now McTominay. McTominay to Duranville again. Duranville all the way here. Where's he going? Jurian Duranville cuts inside, cuts inside twice. Jurian Duranville saved! Dobbin! Yes! Lewis Dobbin scores to make it 2 0. That's game, that's set, and that's match. Let's go. Game, set, match. Everton Football Club. Lewis Dobbin finishes it, but it was really the work of Jurian Duranville once again. That provided the platform for Dobbin to finish this off. It was all brilliant from Duranville again, but the final shot. If Duranville had a, a good final shot on him, we would be magic. But let, yeah, let's make that sub. Uh, I think it's too late now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Matt Patterson's wrecked. Like, absolutely wrecked. We need to start Godfrey right back, maybe. Okay, that's brilliant stuff, though. Magic. So far. Clean sheet, 2-0 win. Added doesn't get much end. better than that, boys. It doesn't get much better than a nice, tasty 2-0 win, you know? That's out of play, Bowen. You're done. West Ham are done. Game Riot's done. Come on, baby. Win that, Ferguson. Win that. I hope Sudakov and... Uh, and Alvedi aren't out for too long, by the way, guys. Because we could be in trouble if they are. We already have Elise out. You know, we can make it work. We can make it work. Post-match interview, let's do it. I should have checked the match facts. Fuck. I wanted to see who man of the match was. Can we ask you a question? You can ask me, uh... Four weeks! Alvedi's out for four weeks. Well, Tarkovsky did want more game time, so he's gonna get it, I guess. It's always about hard work. In the words of former Everton manager Sean Dyche, it's hard work. Um... We want to be consistent now, alright? We've got a great no win here, but we want to be consistent now. At this level, consistency is key. All right, we have Aston Villa next, who are four points ahead of us in the European positions. That's what we need. That's the kind of match we need. At least Sudakov's only out for five days, and James Garner is back as well. So we can take that, and uh, we can... Super sub Dobbin inspires late win. Damn right, baby. All right, Sudakov's back, Garner's back. I'm feeling much better in myself, ready to play. Hope you can get me back in the team. Um, you're a big player for us, Sudakov. You're a big player for us. Uh, okay, I've already thought about that, James. Thank you. We've got bigger games coming up, Evan. I feel like we might start Dom in this game if Evan's tired, but we'll see. Players not, might not be tired. So let's see what Aston Villa have. We have a 4-4-2 holding. Tillemans and Douglas Louise. So we're definitely going to need that attacking mid to be on his game today with the two CDMs. Um, okay. So Alvedi's injured. Elise's injured. Things are looking kind of gl grim with our injury situation. But we can make it work. Okay. We can make it work. No problem. Ahead of Sudakov. And then McTominay in that attacking role again. We're just going to give Sudakov a rest after recovering for his from his injury. Okay. I want to see what McTominay is like in that role for the full game. I kind of want to see what that what he's like. Uh, Calvert-Lewin is going to go... No, I'm going to start Ferguson. Ferguson just scored. He deserves to keep his place, okay? So, Gananto, Duranville, either side of Ferguson. Mc McTominay in behind. We might have found something here. We'll see. We'll see, all right? Uh, but Sudakov has been playing pretty well as well recently. So, I don't want to... I don't want to shit on his parade either. But he was just back from injury. You know, we can... Um, we can see what happens there. All right, we'll go with the great kit. All right, Everton versus Aston Villa. Evan Ferguson scores in the last game. So does Lewis Dobbin. But Dobbin is on the bench. Ferguson claims a starting place once more. Let's see if we can beat Aston Villa here and really start to get our European push underway because a win here would be massive. We go one point behind Villa, who are fifth right now. McTominay in that advanced role finds Duranville early. Let's see if Everton can get uh, a little bit more attacking prowess going here. Keep that defensive structure. We didn't even concede a goal in the last game, you know? It's just uh, another clean sheet. But you need to keep scoring goals. Onana does really well. Finds Duranville. Duranville! Oh. Evan Ferguson was coming in with some pace there, but couldn't quite get there in time. Ganonto wins that back. Keep it in. Yes, Ganonto does keep it in. Ganonto finds Ferguson. Evan Ferguson. Oh, what a tackle that is. Whoever that was. I don't know who it was. I think it was... Uh, 
I think it was this number three beside me. Ezra Khan says it. I don't know. That was a brilliant tackle either way from whoever that was. Yes, Tierney lad. Yes, Tierney lad. Brilliant. Okay. Started this game well. We've started this game really well. But Ganonto's uh, past everyone here. He cuts inside. Maybe he doesn't need anyone. Ganonto goes for it. Fires over. That was a big chance. A big chance early here. Come on, man. What the hell is up with his eyes? Oh, there was kind of the... Uh, it was the reflection of the light. I was like, Emery is a bloody vampire here or something. I don't know. That was creepy. Ferguson. Ferguson finds Duranville. Brilliant play. Duranville to the byline. Tries to cut back, but wins the corner. It's a problem. This is a problem. It's a hell of a counter. Diaby. Oh, thank God. Good save, Pickford. I thought he was going to pull it back. It's probably good that he didn't, honestly. Tax ball. Tax always going to win those. Good tackle. Good tackle. Well done, Garner. Terrible pass from Tierney. Absolutely puts us right back under pressure. But a good tackle from Tarkovsky. And he's proving his worth here. Elvedi might be out for a month, but Tarkovsky can fill the gap no problem. Oh, what a tackle that was. I thought I'd actually done him, but he just uh, takes the ball with him there. Good block. Good block. Garner finds Gananto. Gananto finds McTominay. McTominay now on the run here. Go on, Scott. Go on, Scott McTominay. Scott McTominay's going alone. Finds Evan Ferguson. Evan Ferguson finds Willie G. Gananto scores! Oh my god, I thought he'd saved it or I thought it was wide. It didn't look like it was in. But Gananto does score from the edge of the box. He powers it in there. Willie G is quite good at football. What a goal. 1 0 to the Toffees. Get in there, baby. Come on. Look at that. Look at this goal. I want to see what, what happened here. Look. Oh, it's shocking from Martinez. It's a big mistake from the keeper. Not something you see very often in this game, but it's a huge mistake from Emmy Martinez. Gananto, he won't care about that. He only cares that it's in the back of the net and it's his goal. Get in there, boys. Garner with a bloody scissors kick out to Duranville. Duranville finds Ferguson. Ferguson finds McTominay. McTominay does his man in. Scott McTominay. One on one, maybe. McTominay scores. Yes. He's playing that advanced role masterfully. Scott McTominay scores. And the Toffees are on the march here. It's 2 0 before half time. We've just won 2 0. And Scott McTominay. Makes it 2-0 to look like Everton are going to go back-to-back -back wins to maybe push towards those European positions. It's brilliant. It's absolutely brilliant. And McTominay is working well in that advanced role. I might have to change his position to a centre-attacking mid here. Come on. Get in there. That's massive. 2-0. Come on. And we've had the better of this game. We deserve to be 2-0 up. We deserve to be 2-0 up. West Ham could have been 2-0 up at halftime in the last game. We ended up taking advantage of them not taking their chances. But this one, we've been much better. Scott McTominay, in that advanced role, is putting on a clinic here. He's uh, having an 8.2, and we've only uh, played 45 minutes. So McTominay's looking for a man-of-the-match performance here in that role to really try and um, secure that as his own, you'd have to say. Oh, Nana! Saved by Martinez. Well done, oh, Nana. You make up for that, man. Great pass. Great tackle, rather. Not a great pass. Great tackle. He's onside, surely. Don't give him offside, ref. He's onside. Duranville cuts inside beautifully. Duranville. Here's Evan Ferguson. James Gunn. I probably should have worked for a goal there, but... Oh, Nana goes for it. Oh, my God. That nearly went top bit. Holy shit. That nearly went top corner, man. All right. Should we make a change? Well done, oh, Nana. Well done, oh, Nana. Oh, my God. He powers him out of the way. Calvert-Lewin. Calvert-Lewin. Duranville. One of the worst shots you'll ever see from Duranville. What in the fuck was that? Oh, my God. That is awful from Duranville. Truly awful. Wow. He just done Ganondo there. That's embarrassing. Oh, that's fiercely embarrassing. Tierney gets done. Branthwaite does win it, though. Brilliant from Branthwaite. The defending's been good. Oh, good save, Pickers. Good save, Pickers. Oh, and a brilliant header from Duranville to find McTominay. McTominay finds Calvert-Lewin, who threads it through Esri Conce's legs, I think. you have to categorize that as a missed opportunity. Substitution then. 
Is this real? <laughs> is this real? What the hell just happened, man? What the hell just happened? How the hell does he miss that? I was like, I, I shouldn't have gone for the dink, but I was like, ah, we got the rebound anyway. And he somehow misses the rebound. <laughs> that should have been 3-0 and game finished off, but I think it's game over at least anyway. Pickford makes another good save here at the end. And that is going to be good enough for maybe another clean sheet here. Back-to-back 2-0 -back wins to start this video. That is good stuff. Really good stuff. Come on. Get in there. Massive two wins in a row, man. And maybe we will have to go up to legendary difficulty again now with these new... Uh, this new update, I don't know how it changed things too much, but uh, Scott McTominay is going to be the man of the match shortly. He is with an 8.5, Onana 8.1. Overall, a very good performance, a very good match, and a win away from home against Aston Villa is no easy feat, and that puts us closer to the European position. So that is exactly what we would have wanted, and you, you know, this is going to be a, a good interview here. Our squad's stronger than you think, lady. It's stronger than you think. Tarkovsky is a tough lad, you know. He's 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 a beast. Uh, we were better prepared for today at Everton. We pride ourselves on our resilience. All right, there you go. Pride ourselves on our resilience. Thanks so there you much go. for your time. And that's that. Interview done. Bournemouth next in the Premier League at home. Okay. Let's have it, Bournemouth. Let's have it, son. Let's have it, baby. Bournemouth and then Wolves. Player returns from injury. Michael Elise's back. Oh shit. Keep your feet on the ground, Evan. You've been playing really well, lad. Keep your feet on the ground. All right, Bournemouth are next. Captaincy for the Bournemouth fixer. Who do we have as captain, and why do they not like it? Oh, yeah, this again with Onana as the captain. I, I don't understand it, but whatever. Tarkovsky's been the captain for a while now. Bournemouth are on five points. This is the kind of game you have to be careful. These are the banana skin games, you know? These are the banana skin games you have to be careful about. All right, let's try our best to... Uh, to just stay stay focused and beat them. They have Emerson. They have Elliott. Go with this team. Pickford, Patterson, Tarkovsky, Branthwaite, Tierney, McTominay, Onana, Sudakov, Calvert-Lewin, Duranville, and Ganonto. All right, we're going to go with that team. All right, Sudakov, you're back in the team now after your injury. Show me that you're worth it or else I'm going to put McTominay in that bloody uh, position for, for the next few weeks and see if it works better, all right? Because McTominay there showed real promise. And it's good to have that option at least. Duranville. We have the option of Jury and Duranville here. That's brilliant play from him. Duranville saved. Oh, my God. Sudakov was there, but it just passed him a little bit too quickly, I think. Oh my god, that was close to being well, an absolute stormer of a goal to start. McTominay shoots. Doesn't score okay, though. And it's headed away. Sure Tarkovsky wins that. Look at that little flick from Tarkovsky. Okay, buddy. Okay. Well, for Everton, it really was a fine before. Here goes Semenyo. Semenyo! Oh my god, what the fuck was that run from Semenyo? Wow. And nearly 1 0 Bournemouth early. Unbelievable run. Pickford makes a great save. Pickford's actually done really well over the last three games. That's the reason we've kept so many clean sheets is Pickford has just been on it like you wouldn't believe. And he just runs out of play. We'll take that. Thank you very much. <laughs> Bournemouth have the lowest scorers as well. Bournemouth are the lowest scorers and we have uh, the best defense. So that means 5-0 Bournemouth incoming. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. But those stats usually don't mean much when the game day approaches, you know? Anything can happen. Yeah, where are you going? Good save, Pickers. Good save, Pickers, lads. Well done. Finds Calvert-Lewin. Brilliant play. Calvert-Lewin. No! I could have found Duranville there if he had the right pass. Great tackle. Now Duranville's in, maybe. Duranville saved! Oh, it would have been brilliant. It would have been brilliant. Honestly, it wasn't a bad shot. It was just a good save there. McTominay to Calvert-Lewin! What a save! Oh my god. Pickford makes a couple of great saves, but now they're making a couple of great saves, son. Ferguson. Or sorry, not Ferguson. Branthwaite. <laughs> Ferguson isn't playing. They have a similar haircut, that's why. <laughs> All right, there you go. No way that went right to him. Oh, it's over. Oh my god, I thought that was in for sure. Thank god for that. What a match this is so far. It's nil-nil, but not for a, for a lack of chances, that's for sure. Brilliant game so far. Onana tries to find Sudakov, misses the pass, and straight back to Bournemouth, who are going to come again. Pause. Kill Kenny, I'm from Cork, me! Oh, shit. Branthwaite's ball. Oh, no. Tierney, go towards it! No! It's been coming. 
One one of the teams was going to score. It just so happens to be Bournemouth on this occasion, unfortunately. And there's the first goal conceded of the video, would you believe it? But you know what? We've been scoring two per game. So all we need to do is score two again this game. All right? So if things aren't working out, we, we can put Scott McTominay in that attacking role. We have Evan Ferguson off the bench. We have actually Gray off the bench. We have James Garner off the bench. we got options. we got options to turn things around now. And that's the big difference from seasons gone by. Let's find out how they're going to react to this setback. Garanville does really well to beat his man. And a chance for him on the flank. He does extremely well to meet his man. Garanville! This could be the moment for him! He pushes it over the bar, man. Oh, it's a corner. Okay, must have been blocked. He's so good until the final moment, it feels like, Garanville. Like, he's so good at these little tricky runs. His finishing just needs work. So, that's something that can be improved, though. No, 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 no. <gasps> what the fuck? Oh, my God. Okay. All right, get to halftime 1-0. Let's, let's just see what we can do from there, all right? Maybe we get one chance. Duranville's so good, man. Look at that. Like, his, his, his dribbling is just brilliant. If he could get his finishing on par, and maybe he has a chance to do so here. Duranville saved! Oh, no! Line from Gananto. Just couldn't get there in time, but that is a good way to end the half. Good chance. Really good. It was The angle was tied for Duranville there, in fairness, so... Can't blame him on that one, but wow. Calvert-Lewin, through for Duranville, surely this time! He can finally make it stick! Can he put it away? And the shot's just over the top! You gotta be shitting me, man. You gotta be shitting me, dude. Oh my god, man. Look at that from Duranville. Again, he's had a brilliant game, he just needs to get that finishing prowess in there. Duranville cuts back inside, does brilliantly well. Duranville sets up Calvert-Lewin. Scott McTominay in that position. Blocked in a corner ball. All right, come on. This is more like it now. All right, I'm putting Garner right back, and we're bringing on Ferguson. Fuck it. Let's go. <laughs> putting Garner right back. He's played there before, and um, we're going to go with this here. Grave, McTominay, Ferguson, Calvert-Lewin, Duranville, Dobbin. Okay, let's do it. I like this. This is going to work. Trust me. This is going to work. I got a feeling. Patterson off for Ferguson. Bit of an attacking change, but it is what it is. That's brilliant again from Julian Baranville. This time he finds Evan Ferguson goes for it, hits the post! It's the inside of the post, and you can hardly believe it, son. Archie Gray finds Calvert Lewin. Calvert Lewin to McTominay. McTominay to Duranville. McTominay turns his man. McTominay goes for it. It's blocked. Five minutes left on the clock. And things are not looking good for us, boys. <gasps> oh my god, I thought Calvert... If he wasn't injured there, he probably would have made that tackle. Oh, it's over. God, I can't believe we haven't equalized here. It's not over. It's not over till the fat lady sings, remember that. He finds Ferguson. Where? Why? No, McTominay stopped running. Fuck. Fuck's sake, man. I don't believe it. Get it up there, quick. Pass it! No! Oh, it's over. God, man, we had so many good chances there towards the end. We tried our best, but we lose to Bournemouth at Goodison. After winning two games in a row to put ourselves in European positions, we lose to probably rock-bottom Bournemouth here. Oh, heartbreaking stuff. Heartbreaking stuff. The European fight is well and truly on. McTominay is man of the match again for Everton, but in that position, or in that on this occasion, rather, it's on the losing side. Unfortunate. We tried our level best there to get uh, the equalizer, but it wasn't to be on this occasion. One mistake can be costly, and it is what it is. You know, that's the way it goes. We have to learn from setbacks. They are clearly not the better team because we're way higher up the, up the league, but it is what it is. It was a decent performance, but a disappointing result, you know? No, it no, was, no, honestly. No. We, we tried our best. We just couldn't get the ball in the back of the net towards the end. And we have Wolves up next. We're in ninth position. Really? I win two games in a row, and I fucking lose one, and I don't gain a single position. Like, what are you talking about, man? How do I not gain a single position? Don't beat yourself up about it, Sudakov. Like, how do I not gain a position in that, in that scenario? How am I still fucking ninth? Let's have a look at the table, I guess. But that seems unreasonable that I'd still be ninth. Yeah, and everyone's played the same amount of games. We have actually lost ground on the teams ahead. Like, that's... In <laughs> I don't get it, man. 
<laughs> every team above us won? Is that the case? Like, every team above us won? Nottingham Forest are above, above us, for Christ's sake. Okay, um, sure. We have seven wins, six losses. Okay, all right. Whatever. We haven't drawn a single match this season yet. That was nearly our first draw of the season. But we need to start get back to winning ways in the next video, guys. Because I think that we can really start to push on for Europe here. That would be awesome. We have Liverpool and Man City ahead of us, though. So it might be tough to catch them. But Forest and Villa, maybe we can uh, realistically catch those guys a little bit easier. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this look back into uh, the FIFA career mode. Um, we'll try and maybe look at potentially making some big signings and stuff like that. Um in the January transfer window, which will probably be coming up within the next couple of windows, uh, or next couple of videos, rather. Um, I'm not sure who will sign. Like, I don't actually know if the, if we want to sign anyone. Like, I feel like we have a good squad right now. But there's always places that can be improved, right? And we'll see as we go along what positions we can improve. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it. I'll see you next time. It's been my pleasure to serve you all. Peace out.